Thanks very much, Alex. Yes, we're talking art. We're talking fine art with Georgian College. And if you would like an opportunity to go and see some students at their finest, we're going to tell you exactly how you can do just that. Joining us is two artists themselves, Ilan Kuchi as well as Travis Plater. Thank you very much for being here and joining us today. Thanks for having us. We're talking, as I was saying, about the uh, the fine art student exhibition that's going to be coming up fairly soon. You both are students of uh, the Georgian College Fine Arts course, isn't that isn't program. that right? Yeah. Program. Tell me a little bit about the program. Uh, it's second year now that that you're in, but it's a three year course. Is that right? Yeah, there's a two year course and a three year course. Most of us are in the three year course, okay. so this is another couple ahead of us, but uh, and every year the second year fine arts students are given the opportunity to work with the guest curator um, and put on an exhibition. Right. Um, but as far as the, the program and the course itself, because you're coming in being a, a creative soul, obviously that's why you've chose that journey. What sort of um, things are you learning? What, what are they molding and sort of fine-tuning for you, Travis, when it comes to, to the course and the program? They, are, they really focus on um, conceptual sort of development, so mm -hmm. they don't really box you in too much, um, but they, they help us, uh, well, they provide the studio space for uh, printmaking, sculpture, drawing, painting, mm -hmm. and they help it with technique and that sort of thing, but uh, ultimately, yeah, what they're pushing for is conceptual ideas. So it's giving you an opportunity to be able to test your hand at various different mediums before you decide sort of where you want to go or if you want to do them all and, and branch out, mm -hmm. right? The first two years is uh, focusing on all studios and then the last year you get to choose uh, your focus. Right, okay, excellent. And you were saying a curator. Yes. So you're having a curator come up and curate this, this uh, exhibition. Is this one of the first time a lot of the artists have had an opportunity to, to have their, their work displayed? Yeah, actually for a lot of the students this is their first exhibition ever. Okay. Um, but also being, That's exciting. Yeah, it is. And being able to work with a curator of, of Pat's stature yeah. um, is also really exciting for us. Um, he was in yesterday, we set the show, and he kind of gave us some insight as to why he does, you know, why he would put this someplace and why he would you know, choose to exhibit things another way. So exactly. it was great. We actually have some photos that we're going to take a look at of some of the artwork that people are able to experience when it comes to the exhibition that's going to be taking place. Obviously, uh, these are other students, so you can't necessarily speak on their behalf of, of what the... Uh, what the art's about, right? Right. Right. But when yours comes up, then you can tell me a little bit about it. How is the process as far as um, having yourself displayed? And is do you feel like it's almost putting yourself out there? You are putting yourself out there. This is you. This is what you've designed and you've created. Very oh, much so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? I think Travis and I actually, out of most of the students, we kind of put a lot of our own uh, ideas and concepts into our artwork. Um, some of the other ones are a little bit more, you know, decorative, I guess. Um, but more kitschy. Yeah, yes. <laughs> but uh, no, definitely there's that ability to really make a statement. Do you have the opportunity to sell your work at this exhibition? Yeah, it's all for sale. Okay. Um, prices probably won't be on there, but, you know, approaching Georgian College, um, the staff mm -hmm. there, you can definitely sell some of it. So let me know when your stuff comes up so we can make sure that we take a look at it just so it doesn't slip by. But that must be a difficult process as far as uh, pricing your stuff and almost knowing your, your worth, right? Yeah. Uh, the, the teachers are, will give you a hand, but it's, it is complicated being students and not really knowing where we fit into the art world. <laughs> <laughs> That's Travis's right now. That's yes. Travis's right now. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about this work, Travis. Um, it was, it's ink washes on wood panel. Yeah. Um, that one was actually for a project where we got to, it was just a choice project. You got to take your own direction with it. Um, I do a lot of work with uh, images with wolves and um, uh, stags. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it focus tends to focus around masculinity and the power dominance struggle uh, right. with submission and dominance. Uh, oh within, wow, I love that. Uh, yeah, within uh, masculinity, it's 
pretty broad subject. Really. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, we could talk about that for a yeah, while, actually. But it actually opens this Thursday. You have an opportunity, 7 till 9. It's like a, a wine reception. You can walk around. You can enjoy. You can talk with other artists as well as have a, a good little chat and see some fantastic work from uh, the Fine Arts Student Exhibition. Eight, and it runs until April the 13th. Yes, April 13th. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. So if anybody wants any other information, where should they head? Uh, well, they can go to the Georgian College website. Mm -hmm. um, we also have an event on Facebook that's open to the public. There so we go. You can pop on there. Thank you so much for joining us today. Wonderful. Best of luck in the future. More daytime coming up right after this.